9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hi everyone! Hi! Hi. 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 Hey guys, very good to see you. Thank you for joining Skypathon. I'm Anthony. And I'm Mike. Hello Mr. Anthony, we would like to welcome you in Qatar, in our school, our Maha Academy for Boys. In Arabic, when, when we meet someone, in Arabic we say, Assalamu Alaikum! Right, Mr. Anthony, we are very excited for you to join us. I have got a host for today. He is fantastic. He is amazing. He is Mubarak Salah. Hello, Mr. Anthony. Hello. I am Mubarak Salah, and I'll be the host today. Uh, nice to meet you. Me too. Uh, we have we have prepared the a show and the poem. The poem is in Arabic, but it is about how much we love Qatar.
Thank you for that demonstration. We're trying hard to help with all the technology, but really it's all about you and harnessing your passions, your beliefs to help make it the world a better place. So thank you very much for demonstrating that. When we, Mr. Andrew, when we found out we, you chose our class for this Skype session, we are very excited. We spent hours researching and making biography on you using Microsoft. Oh, wow. And there are some answers we didn't find, and we wanted to ask you. What, what was your biggest dream when you were little? Well, I, when I was little, I... Uh, uh, should I answer first? Yes. Uh, so when I was little, I really... Uh, uh, when I was growing up, I really didn't even think to dream big. I didn't believe that I had an opportunity to make a difference, so I was really just, um, you know, in my neighborhood, and I really didn't see the world as a bigger place. It wasn't until technology started to come into my life that I started to see my uh, my neighborhood and my impact far beyond where I was living, and so that's one of the reasons why I'm so uh, focused on technology. Because when I was younger, technology was very, very immature. But it helped me expand my horizons as a, a young boy. And so that's something that I've been very, very focused on, helping expose the power of technology to help everyone do what we're doing now. Learn about each other, share ideas, maybe collaborate together. And when you do that, you can open up your horizons uh, and hopefully appreciate uh, the differences and the, and the sameness of us uh, globally. So it helped me, and it's some of the reason why I give back to education now. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks for the question. How did you become the the vice president of Microsoft Education? Well, well, thank you. I, I a lot of it is basically working hard, uh, but applying my passion and working well with others to make sure that we can deliver impact. And I've been working at Microsoft for many, many years. I started when I in college, started working at Microsoft. And I learned when I just was a very, very young student uh, to speak for what I believed in, to work hard, to make an impact, and then apply my strength and passion to everything that I did inside the company, and then recognize, above all, that I need to continue to grow and learn to evolve and to enhance my skills and impact. And so at Microsoft, you always have to continue to learn. And just like you're learning now, and you're learning new things every day, it gives you energy, and you inspire yourself to, to pursue new passions. At Microsoft, you have to do the same thing every day, not only because the technology changes so much, but because the experiences that we have together require people who are continually learning and growing based on what they're seeing and doing. So that's something that really helped me grow in my career. Well, your effort and everything Give you something that makes you happy. Well, so I, I'm happy when I can help others most of, most of all, whether it's helping in small ways or bigger ways. Um, I'm also happy when I find myself embracing things I was uncomfortable with or maybe a little afraid of and overcoming that fear. Uh, so sometimes you have to continue to challenge and push yourself, and those things uh, bring me great joy. I love having the opportunity to spend time learning, spend time with my family and friends. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, for me, I get joy from the work that I get a chance to do every single day. Uh, and you know, opportunities to talk to students like you uh, really uh, not only inspire for me, but it really is something that I'm really uh, happy to do every single day. Yes. How about you, Mike? Say, uh, I mean, definitely. You know, working with my team at work uh, to help bring uh, technology into classrooms around the world to help uh, see what you guys can do with it, and then I think you know, spending time with my friends and family and uh, playing sports from time to time too. Well, one of the things about uh, so we get a chance to talk about technology a lot, work with technology devices, uh, new software, etc. The big impact that goes on in schools and your classrooms and your school is all going to be about people. 
I get a chance to, in my role, visit uh, lots and lots of countries. I visited well over a thousand schools in my life. And the thing that differentiates those schools is the people. You know, the leaders that drive innovation and drive culture are the teachers that are fearless to create new opportunities for you to learn. And it's the energy from students. That's the most important thing from every great school I visit. So while technology is important, it's the people that's important. And that's going to be true in your career. The thing that brings you joy are going to be the impact that you have on others. And certainly that's something that's true for Mike and I. How will artificial intelligence help us in the future? Well, so the emergence of artificial intelligence is it's super exciting because it's going to enable us to enhance a lot of the ways in which the data that's being collected by sensors, by technology, can be used to create new experiences. So one of the ways it can be used is to help with natural language processing to help us all communicate and collaborate more effectively. So Microsoft is actually building natural language translation services so we can speak to each other and have languages translate as we need. Now we're using machine translation and artificial intelligence to enhance that language translation to make it super easy for all of us around the world to share a common language through technology. We're also seeing artificial intelligence help us make predictions on using things that we need, whether it's navigation in cars, whether it's helping us make energy more efficiently used in schools and buildings, helping provide us the content and learning that we need based on our learning styles and history. There's a whole range of technologies that will happen. The reality though, artificial intelligence is going to transform our world in large and small ways, and we're gonna need students to create the tools and innovation to accelerate the use of artificial intelligence as well as create new jobs and new industries that will use AI to actually deliver more goods and services to the world. Because AI will actually reduce some jobs, which has actually historically been true with technology, but we also have to work to create new innovations that can inspire more job creation. But I'm excited about the work that we're doing to make artificial intelligence available in all the tools that we use every day, but also will enhance the future of what's happening. Wow, you have a really valid point. Thank you. Well, Mr. Anthony, we all believe that you have a cause for us. Mr. Anthony, could we take a selfie with you? Sure, absolutely. So uh, you shared a little bit about some of the emerging technologies with artificial intelligence. Are there other technologies that you're excited about and you think will have a big impact on the world? Uh, yes. Can you share some? What, what are those? I like uh, gaming stuff and uh, laptops. And this will be in the world. And so much to... to to sell like a lot and to have a lot everywhere. Like. Oh, also mobile. What about the stuff that we use? What about Microsoft Forms? Yes, uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Forms. That's great. We've, we've been using a lot of Microsoft Forms, Mr. Anthony, for English. Oh, wonderful. For English words. Nice, nice. For maths, for science. And we've been working to integrate forms into the other products. So you have forms in PowerPoint and forms coming into OneNote. So bringing forms in so it's easier to create uh, that, uh, the, the tools that you're using, but actually doing quizzes and ad hoc assessments naturally in the product. That's great. That's great. That's we are waiting for this. Um, can we take a picture with you, sir? Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely, of course. Do we have a sign or don't we have a sign? Okay, there you go. Say cheers.
We would really like you to, uh, we're going to hold you to a promise to come and visit our school when you come next year. I, I will always try my best to do, but I don't want to promise because I don't know what my schedule is looking like, but if I'm in guitar, I will do every effort I can to see you. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say thank you to the, the teacher, Mr. Muhammad Ali, and all the children for all the effort they put in um, to today. And thank you so much again for your time. Thank you so much. It was amazing. I appreciate the time, and it was great spending time with you today at Kaiba Thank you. To say hello and goodbye to you, I'm going to say it. Thanks, in everyone. Thanks, Kat. Thank Five different languages. Arabic, my salama. Roman, pa. Spanish, adios. Sweden, adjo. And finally, Finland, hey, hey. Bye. Bye. Thank you.